Hi again, friends. Come with me and explore the backyard. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to set a trap and see what we catch. We're going to check out what might be crawling and scurrying around out here in the wheat field at night. In this trap, I've put cat food. Cats aren't the only thing that like cat food, you know. And then I put the stick on here and there's this little ribbon so that when the trap is tripped, that goes up just like that. And then from the house, I can see if I caught something. Okay, I've set the trap. And when something comes in here and puts its little paws right on that, then the door will close, the flag will pop up, and we've caught a creature. Okay, there it is. Now, what are we gonna catch in this trap? You're gonna have to just wait and see. Okay, it's the morning, and as you can see, the flag is up, so that means the trap has been tripped. Let's go see what we caught. mouse. He's quite active. He doesn't want to be in there. You can see he's not hurt. This trap was not harmful to him. In fact, he got a really nice meal, but right now he doesn't want to be there because he's normally going to be in his burrow right now, hiding during the day. They are nocturnal. Now, what kind of a mouse is this? This is probably what they call a deer mouse. Its tail is long, about as long as its body, and it has that multicolored body. The common house mouse is basically one color, but this one, white on the bottom, the tail is dark on top, and light on the bottom. So that makes it probably a deer mouse, which is a very common mouse. They like to live out in the fields. They're eating grain and seeds and fruit. They have pretty good eyesight, but they have a very good sense of smell. They'll roam around their territory looking for food and I'm sure this one smelled some delicious cat food and then um, explored this trap and then here we have him now. My daughters like these mice. They think they're cute and these don't make good pets. Mice can make a good pet but you want to make sure you get a mouse from a pet store that you can be sure that it doesn't have disease. But mice that are out here in the wild, they can carry disease and be quite dangerous. So you don't want to touch or really um, get near wild mice and especially their droppings. Their droppings can carry disease and so you don't want to touch their poop. My daughter's made something special. So let me go show you what that is. This is what my girls call the amazing mouse maze. So what we have here is cardboard box made into a maze and you can see that it's got a path here and here's the cage and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the cage. It's going to go in this little box. I'm going to open a little door and then it'll start going through the maze and we'll see if it is smart enough to find the cheese right here in the middle. Now, cheese is not actually the favorite food of mice, but for this maze, uh, we put some cheese in the middle just for fun. Here we go. We're going to release Mr. Mouse into the maze and he will get cheese in the middle, but his biggest prize will be his freedom. Once he gets to the middle, I'm going to then let him go. Okay, maze door open. Okay, here's the mouse in the maze. And let's see if he can figure out where the cheese is. Oh my. He was gonna take a shortcut. Did you see that? All right, we're back and here's Mr. Mouse. He's not very interested in exploring the maze, but as you can see, sometimes wild animals don't really cooperate with what you want them to do. A lot of times we're like this mouse where we really miss out on a lot of opportunities God has for us and a lot of special things that uh, he would like us to do, but um, we just kind of do our own thing and maybe we get distracted and we don't use our time properly and we don't make good decisions. 
The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. So I encourage you to trust in the Lord with all your heart, and He will show you where to go. And let's not be like Mr. Mouse here, and just sit over here and not cooperate at all. Even though I didn't find the cheese, I'm still gonna let this mouse go. So let's go take it back to where we found it. There you go, little guy. See you later. Okay, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.